Hillary and welcome to Lazy Lima Life. Today, ooh, can you guess what I made here? It's the magnets. I made these out of, you can see water bottle caps. I put a magnet on the back and use some scrapbook paper and some diamond glaze and I have nifty new magnets yay so um, I want to talk about uh, your materials list uh, it's a very short list bottle caps scrapbook paper optional paper punch um, diamond glaze magnets and I also used some reflective glass beads again those are also optional for this project. I did some with and some without. So without further ado, let's get started. Yes. Um, I have bottle caps from water. I have decorative paper circles that I've cut out and I have stickable magnets. Uh, so what I did to get the right size because there's two layers in here um, is I have this little, these little plastic, um, I don't even know what they're called. Um, I have a ton of them. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know, these little plastic, you know, blops that you can use for your card making and scrapbooking and stuff. I got a bunch of them at a garage sale. Um, but I found one that was the perfect size. So, um, I just traced it on my paper. And now I'm gonna cut it out. Um, so just as long as it fits in there and it nests on the, the cover, we're good. So there you go. I have everything lined up here. And I also have a, a half inch hole punch, I believe. So I'm just gonna find some paper and punch some dots and they're going to disappear. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our magnets on. And these are all sticky backs that you peel off. And I'm going to try to get it in the center. And as I've done it, I'm just going to flip it over. I like working assembly line. Six magnets ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to flip them over and I'm going to drop my decorative paper into each one so that it sits nicely inside the bottle cap. Okay. So there are our six. But I'm just going to use it like this because I don't know where my actual diamond glaze is. And we're just going to roll it over to the edge. So you can see it's sort of cloudy looking. And and once you get going, like I said, it's assembly line. It'll go pretty quickly. I'm going to put these on here just in case they overflow. Last one. The next thing we're going to do with some of these is I have some reflective glass beads. I got them from Daniel Smith. Um, you can see how they're but you can see how they're reflected, which is nice. So I'm just going to sprinkle So here are our magnets as they're drying, setting up, drying, whatever. This one. I think I got too much of the reflective beads in there, but we'll see. Um, we're gonna wait till it dries because um, 
the diamond glaze you can see it's a little cloudy but it dries clear so um, we might be successful so here are my finished magnets I think they look cool except for the one that I just dropped on the floor that one doesn't look so cool um, and some of them you can tell that the reflective beads are there this one's the one that I thought had too much and it probably does because you can um, when you're close up to it you can barely make out that there's two different uh, textures or uh, patterns of paper in there um, this one has reflective beads in it I think this one probably looks pretty good uh, in real life this one has a lot of reflective beads in there I think this one turned out pretty well because you can see uh, you can even see that there's a little slice of cake on that paper so that's kind of cool that one successful uh, this one is just the plain paper and the diamond glaze and this one has um, Oh, I always think that this one has the reflective beads. This is the um, this is one where I shoved my finger in it, and so I ripped it. The I took all the glaze out because it was starting to set, and then I uh, put some beads in the bottom while it was still sticky, and put more glaze on it. You can barely tell there's beads in there, and then I stuck my finger in it again. So this one, whatever. So. Uh, Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and see all the new videos I'm coming up with. I got a ton of them just waiting in the wings and it'll be fun. Um, hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.